The next thing that we are going to see is how we can provide a context to using a hilt. So let's say if I have some class where I require a context, uh, let's say you are building a retrofit or you are building a database service. So you need to have a context over there. So let's go and create a one class over here, Kotlin class, and I'll just call it as a database uh, service. And, and I'll just create an inject over here. Inject and create a constructor. And constructor parameter, I'll pass the uh, context over here. And okay, so I have a uh, now I have a database service and it requires a constructor parameter using a context parameter. So I'll just go and inject it in my activity. I need a dependency over here. So as inject and letting it back of a database uh, service, we are going to require and we have injected this particular database service class over here and it requires a dependency of a context. So how we are going to provide this context if it was if we don't have any like a uh, dependency over here then that's fine like we just can make use it over here but now we have a dependency we need to provide the dependency so how we are going to provide the dependencies we need to go out uh, to our module sorry the hilt module so let's go to the activity module or you can also go to the application module so first of all let us make use of the activity module and i need to provide a uh, at sorry at activity scope that i need and uh, also i need at provides annotation and then create a function over here and call it as a provide the uh, what we need is a data data base service right we see r is the rvic service and this require a context and then the return type is of the database sorry database service so we are going to return a database service so just return a database service that we have and we need to pass the context so if you are just thinking about uh, this way but it's not going to work so if i try to just run it uh, it's not able to provide the context over here because we are yeah you will get an error because it will say that that is context is injected but we haven't provided that particular context so if you take a look uh, here over here uh, it requires a context but on the error of this we are not setting any context so here we are not getting any context so how you know, the, da uh, the dagger or the hill doesn't know how it is going to pro uh, get that particular context over here. So in the hill, it's really easy to get the context. So there is already pre-built annotation so where we can make use of a context. So I have to add uh, activity context. So I can just get the activity context from here and uh, it will provide a context. Now if I just try to run it, then it should the build should be successful because now we have a make use of the annotation to get that particular context. So if you want to go and take a look, just control click, and you can see that it has retention of the class and the qualifier. So this is an interface of the created activity context. So this is another annotation that how we can make use of the activity context to get our context over here. Similarly, there is another context which is application context. So if I go over here and if I just say add a singleton and add provides and then provide a function to provide a database service, right? And here it requires a context, uh, C U N T E X T context, it requires a context. And the return type is of the database service and then we will just uh, return the um, database uh, service over here and then we need to pass the context over here but the context this time is we need to provide an application context so add application context
and if I just uh, comment out this one then that should work perfectly fine so it's depend on you whether you are requesting applic uh, application context just for the application uh, application level to get certain things that you need to get from your application level or whether you are requesting certain things from your activity itself like if you are just requesting a, a resource file or something then I guess it's better to use activity but if you are get, trying to get uh, something like a catch directory for your OKSTTP and all of those stuff can be done using the uh, application context so depending on your requirement you can either use uh, application context or use uh, activity context also you can whenever you define it over here you can also uh, uh, you can also statically mention over that I need a particular context over here like at uh, application context so you mentioned that I need the application context over here and if you go back to the documentation here you can see this section on the dagger field uh, where it has a predefined qualifier of the uh, application context and the ac uh, activity context. So there are also cer certain like uh, you can just go and read other documentation over here and uh, you can get more ideas about it. So make sure you read the documentation carefully because it's the place uh, there where you can learn more about it because on the video we doesn't I didn't cover some of the most of the topics over here and I think most of the topics I have already covered but certain things I haven't covered it over here so if you want to know more you can just uh, go and look into the documentation and try to implement in your application itself